shale gas and fracking is hailed by many as uh, a way out of the fossil fuel crisis, uh, of the energy crisis. Uh, talk about fracking and shale gas, which significance does it have and what are the impacts? Well, the impacts are enormous in terms of polluting and the, uh, these, these are technologies which are expensive, difficult, disruptive and uh, generally speaking useless, but they have this big advantage that they can provide a profit. And that's the reason why they are being pursued, because, you know, you know this, when, when people invest money, for instance, in the housing, you, you know that you can build houses, you believe that you will make money by selling them. This is an investment. With fracking, with shale gas, you know that you can produce shale gas, so you invest money into the plants, and then you hope that you will be making money afterwards. There will be a market for this shale gas. This is not obvious, just like it is not obvious that there will be a market for houses built today. It is not obvious that there will be a market for shale gas at the costs at which it can be produced, because it is expensive. Right now in the United States, most shale gas has been produced at a loss because it, it's, it's a financial story, it's a financial bubble. You invest a lot of money in something with the hope that you will make money later, but, but now the whole thing is going down in the States because uh, people are just have been losing money, very simply. It costs a lot of money to do this fracking, and, uh, and the market can absorb just so much. And so I think uh, the whole story of shale gas or fracking, if you prefer, will be known in the future as a big financial bubble that just wasted a big chunk of resources, which we badly needed for other purposes, but unfortunately have been wasted in this way. What are the effects on the environment and on human health of fracking and shale gas? People try to sell shale gas as a, as a friendly technique, but uh, the data we have show that it is not so friendly. Actually, at one point is gas is less um, bad than coal in the sense of uh, the, the, the amount of uh, greenhouse gases it produces per unit of energy. So that's one point in favor of um, fracking of shale gas. But in reality, the technology is not so well controlled, so the operation of, of mining, of, um, of drilling, or horizontal drilling, you, have, you all, always have losses of gas. It's not a clean operation. So this gas, which is lost, is a very powerful greenhouse gas. And the data is not so clear because it is so new. Nobody really knows what is the fraction of gas which is lost, what is the efficiency of the process. In general, whatever you do, it is never as efficient as you would like it to be. But uh, some data say that uh, fracking is more polluting in terms of greenhouse effect than coal. Some other da data say that it is not so bad. Um, on the whole, we cannot say it is clean. Absolutely not. There's a huge discussion in, also in Germany going on about groundwater pollution of fracking. In the United States, they, they have destroyed the, the water um, the resources for huge swaths of land. Here in Europe, we have a bigger problem because, of course, in Europe, we, the, the population is much more dense. So if we go on fracking, then we're going to create problems that uh, in the USA probably were not so bad. And so another reason why we should be very careful about that. Another un unconventional fossil fuel is um, coming from tar sands and uh, shale oil. Talk about these resources. What is their significance and what are the ecological impacts of these resources? It is the same. Whatever, all the new resources are all expensive and polluting. Tar sands, shale oil, shale gas, tight gas in general. It is always the same. It, you know, what we, we're doing is a choice now because we, don't, we are not forced to exploit these resources, especially if we could realize how expensive they are. It is uh, the financial mechanism that moves investments in a certain direction rather than in another. 
And that's the tragedy of the, of the situation, because we don't need to go to these extremely expensive and disruptive resources. We could invest the same amounts into renewable energy, and we would have the same amounts of energy at a much lower cost if we take into account pollution, unbelievably lower. But the system is not geared to make these kind of choices. And people go for the short-term profit immediately and localized profit. So we are doing this uh, immense historical mistake which will wait on the future of humankind for centuries to come. But I think it's very difficult to stop this momentum because the uh, oil industry, the fossil fuel industry has a tremendous financial clout. And they tend to go for the things they know. For a certain time, they were investing in renewable energy, but right now they are sort of stopped because they see that they are in a tight situation, but they can make money on, on these kind of resources. They are going for it. Uh, in a sense, it is perfectly understandable. In another sense, it is, it is um, wrecking half of the planet. Uh, we can only hope that it will not so bad as it could be, but I'm, af I'm afraid it could be.